Okay, in this video we're looking at rotational symmetry, and here we're focusing just on the orange shape itself and that design. Uh, don't let the white background confuse you. That's not what we're looking at here. So here I have uh, a copy of the same shape, and I'm going to rotate the one on the right. And just take a look, and as I rotate, try to, try to focus on when you see an exact copy, right? In other words, when does this shape have rotational symmetry. So here as I rotate, when I rotate this way in the, in the, on this program, the positive direction, notice here the shape is different, right? Just focusing on the direction of the orange parts of the, of the design, it's facing in a different way, so it hasn't reached a rotational symmetry yet. But here, right, when I reach 90 degrees, I get an exact match, and that'll happen every 90 degrees, so at 180, Right, I also get that match at 270, right? Same thing, and that'll keep happening. Now you don't have to actually turn a shape in order to know, right, when it has rotational symmetry. Just think about the fact that when you turn a shape, you can turn it 360 degrees. And then what you can look for is uh, some type of repeated pattern or shape, which can be very helpful. Here, if you isolate this one pattern, right, let me close this. Oops. This one pattern right here, you can see it's repeated one, two, three, four times. And since it's repeated four times, you can imagine that this shape has 360 divided by four rotational symmetry, which is 90 degrees. So every 90 degrees, we see a repeat in this shape, this little fundamental shape, which kind of looks like a fish, right? Um, so that's what we can look for. And as we go to the next shape, that'll be really helpful. So here, I mean, I, we don't have to count the exact degrees, but we know there's one, two, three, four, five repeated triangles here. If we divide 360 by five, we get 72 degrees, which means that every 72 degrees, this shape could have rotational symmetry. So here's we actually will rotate it, right? And as you rotate it, once we reach 72 degrees, you'll see that in fact, this shape has rotational symmetry. And there it is, an exact match. And then we go up to 144, right? We get that same symmetry. And they're slightly off here just because of the way I've, I've pasted these shapes out of right our textbook here because of the white background. Uh, and the center of rotation might not be at the exact middle as we need it to be. But every 72 degrees, this shape will be a match. And that doesn't always work that way. You can't, you know, look at it exactly. Like in this case, oops. Um, this shape, right, um, it has these two pieces, right, which are identical, and the circle's cut in half, and, and a type of half in that way, but the color scheme doesn't allow for rotational symmetry. So it's not a guarantee, uh, because here this has, oops, no rotational symmetry, or you could say, I guess, 360 degree rotational symmetry, but in that case, uh, you can say, well, it doesn't really have rotational symmetry other than itself. Um, so here, you know, even as I spin it 180, Right here, yes, in a sense, the shape is the same, but the color scheme has been flipped, so it does not have rotational symmetry. Um, this shape right here, I see this triangle repeated four times with this square in the middle, um, and the square uh, will have a symmetry, a rotational symmetry, every ninety degrees. So this this one works out nicely because every ninety degrees, oops, this shape will right repeat in a sense, so it has has rotational symmetry, and let's just take a look at that. So you can see it. Here as we rotate, right, 90 degrees. Once I reach 90, I have an exact copy of this shape. So it has rotational symmetry. And again, you notice that it did go up a little bit because the rotation of symmetry, you can imagine there should be a pin stuck here in the middle of the shape, and we're spinning it on that pivot point and that axis. So that would be our rotational symmetry point, which I might not be able to control here at this program. All right, I hope that helped.